And we're going to go over today the resistivity of a conductor. What is the ohms and the distance of a conductor? And we're going to be in uh, Chapter 9, Table 8 of the NEC. So we're going to, the question is, what is the distance of a number 12 solid with a resistance of 1.4 ohms. Okay, so step one, draw a picture. And what I'm going to do here is, hold on one second while you look at that. I just got to get another Sharpie. Okay, sorry about that. We're going to draw a picture. So first I want to show you a panel. And this is, say, a light. And we know from here to here is a thousand feet. Okay? Then we have another panel. And we have a conductor, and it's around here someplace. And what the goal is, we want to know what the footage is from here to this panel. This is what we're trying to find out, the footage. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go to chapter 9. Table 8, Table 8, and we're going to find out that step 1, step 1, you're going to look at the uncoded, uncoded, and when we do that, hold on one second. Step one, we're going to look under the uncoded, and above it, above uncoded, is copper. So if you look, you'll see the word copper. Then you have, underneath that, you got uncoded. And then over there, you got a line. And then you got ohms per kilometer, and we don't use meters in, in, in the United States, so we're going to use ohms per kilofeet. So this is the one we're going to be using, okay? So we go to a number 12, and if everybody looks right here, you're going to see right here where my finger is that a number 12 wire and you see the AWG right there, okay, the AWG, and we go to 12, and you see the quantity. It's not the best, but you'll see the quantity one and seven. So what that represents, the number 12, the number 12, which quantity, you have a one, and then you have a number 12, which represents seven. This means strand, uh, solid, and this means stranded. Okay, and the reason why we use the uncoded is that that is the regular conductors that we use every day, the THHN, the THWN-2. The coded is something used different, okay? So I just want to let you know that. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up, and we're going to go, and we're going to watch, and we're going to go like this. We know if you look, if you look, a number 12 solid, which is one, which is one, is equal to 1.93 per thousand feet, per thousand feet. So over here, let's go to this one over here. We're going to write 1.93 ohms, ohms. So what we want to find out, well, if it's a thousand feet at 1.93, 
How much is it? How much is it at 1.44 ohms? Now let me just give you an example so everybody understands. If this is a thousand feet, what would 500 feet be? Well, it'll be half of 1.93, which is which is almost like um, I don't know uh, if it was two. Say it was two ohms, 2.00. It would be 1.00 if it was 5. So this would be half of the 1.93. And you could do that on a calculator. So how we're going to set it up, we know that we do a little math. 1.93 is equal to 1,000 feet. And we know that we want to know how many feet, and this is ohms, is 1.44 ohms. So what we do, we cross multiply. And we take 1.93, we cross multiply, x equals 1,000, um, which is 1440. We divide by 1.9, I mean, yeah, 1.93, because we're going to get x by itself. What we do, 1.9. Three. Well, we do the one side, we got to do the 1.93. And when you do that, you come up you come up with an answer of 746, which is feet. So over here, we know the answer then is 746 feet. So again, I want to thank you, and this is how you find that voltage drop. There's a lot of other problems that you could do with voltage drop, but this is one type to find the distance, okay? And um, you have a great day. Bye-bye. Great. Thank you.